Queen's legal row turns SNP politicians against each other, Sturgeon's party implodes. SNP politicians have spoken out against their own party after ministers allegedly failed to disclose the monarchs lobbying over a piece of legislation. SNP-led Scottish Government ministers amended the Heat Networks Bill which encourages the use of underground pipes to heat homes and buildings rather than fossil fuel-powered boilers. The Queen's lawyers raised concerns about the law which was passed by the Scottish Parliament in March and requested a change exempting her land from measures to encourage greener energy. The exemption to the Heat Networks Bill meant land owned by the Royal Household could not be subject to compulsory purchase orders without the Queen's approval. It was secured through a procedure known as Queen's Consent, where the monarch is given sight of legislation that affects her interests. Correspondence revealed in a Freedom of Information request between Buckingham Palace and the Scottish Government showed concerns were raised in January. Documents also revealed Scottish Government did not disclose the monarchs lobbying during a recent Scottish parliamentary debate after an MSP asked why the Queen was securing an exemption from the bill. Western Isles MP Angus McNeil questioned, surely the ScotGov should be open with the public when the head of state of any country is looking for an advantage over the ordinary people of the country? But former Energy Minister Paul Wheelhouse, who gave the Queen's consent about the bill hit back. The former South Scotland MSP who was ousted from office in May's election angrily took to Twitter and said, non we did not hide anything and it's BS if faux complied I did. But he did stress that he did understand folks' frustrations. This afternoon, it has also emerged that the Scottish Parliament will look at whether to change the way it handles new legislation that has been changed to protect the Queen's interests. A Scottish Parliament spokeswoman added, the Parliament will give consideration to how to make the signifying of Crown consent more transparent. Humza Yousaf, Scotland's Health Secretary also admitted today the Scottish Government could ask the Queen for permission to publish royal household correspondence if there was public demand for it. Speaking to BBC Radio Scotland's Good Morning Scotland programme, he added, we would have to obviously speak to the royal household about that, there would be implications in that respect. But of course if that's something Parliament, the public want us to do, to examine and explore that, then we will examine and explore that. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson, said, the royal household can be consulted on bills in order to ensure the technical accuracy and consistency of the application of the bill to the Crown, a complex legal principle governed by statute and common law. This process does not change the nature of any such bill, 